Yeah, so, so Dave, um, he thinks the market's fairly valued, but he also believes there are opportunities. One of those opportunities is Micron, which we're seeing now have a nice move after he spoke. That's a big commitment for Dave. So I think that's kind of interesting. He's a trader also, but since he's got so much capital, it's very difficult to trade, but very disciplined about price targets. So I know he's shaved some positions, as he mentioned to you, and I'll leave it to him. I don't want to disclose what others he's done. But, uh, you know, I'd say pretty consistent comments I've heard from over the last few months. Yeah. Joe, you know, it's interesting. Uh, he, he talks about the market, speaks of this late inning game that we may be in, could go extra innings, but really is focused on what's happening on the trade issue itself, what those tariffs could mean in a big negative way to the stock market if, in fact, they take place and this trade war with China really is on. Well, I thought it was great content from both David and Rob Citrone, and I think it's consistent with the thoughts that I've had the last couple of weeks where I think when you're looking at the market and you're mentioning the potential for these tariffs, Scott, you have to look at the market and say to yourself, what is my volatility exposure? What is my beta exposure in the stocks that I'm in? And I think it's really prudent right now to look at your holdings and say to yourself, okay, maybe I want to pair back on my holdings for some of the more volatile names, some of the more high beta names. I want to be exposed to the market, but I don't, since we're late in the game, as David said, I don't want to incur the higher volatility type of stock names. And I think that's the important message here. Yeah, Pete, it's just hard to know how long the game's going to last. Yeah. I and that's the underlying thing that every investor has to think about, Tepper yeah. included. Yeah, and, and he talked about the late innings, all that. But he, don't, he did say something about the tariffs that I think is important also. He said, you know what, he's not a fan of the tariffs, but something had to be done. And I think that's, uh, that's very important that he realizes, obviously, that you can't have the IP stolen. You can't have all of these different things happening. I would say this in terms of the market. He did trim back. He talks about about 25% exposure to the S&P 500 right now. But here's the other thing, Scott. When you've got a volatility that's trading at 12 and a half, do you know what you do? You look for opportunity, you buy it, and you buy protection because it gives you the opportunity to ride this thing. What if he's wrong and we're not as late in the innings as we are and there's still more upside if we break through some of these highs that we've hit late recently? So I think that's important as well. Understanding where the volatility is right now gives you that kind of an opportunity no matter where you are. I think the Micron position speaks for itself. He did trim back. But he also said, look, it's now become one of the bigger, biggest positions in my portfolio. It shows you the confidence he's got in that name.